Question number seven from Mechanics One, Solomon paper F. Okay, this is a Solomon paper um, from the Solomon series of papers. And this is question number eight from one of my end of topic worksheets, the one on vectors for M1. A particle has an initial velocity of i minus five j meters per second and is accelerating uniformly in the direction two i plus j, where i and j are perpendicular unit vectors. Given that the magnitude of the acceleration is three root five meters per second squared, Show that after t seconds, the velocity vector of the particle is given by this 6t plus uh, 1i plus 3t minus 5j meters per second. All right, now, the key is accelerating uniformly, which means the Suvat equations will apply. We have the initial velocity. So if you think about the Suvat equations, what do we have? We don't have this. We have the initial velocity, which is i minus 5j. Um, we need to find what the velocity is at any particular time t. So that's kind of what we have to find. The acceleration, well, we have the magnitude of the acceleration is 3 root 5. And we also have the, the direction of the acceleration. Direction, which is um, 2i plus j. Okay, it's not the exact, we haven't got the acceleration exactly. We have, but we need to find the acceleration. Okay. And we've got to find the velocity at any time t. So we've got to use, we've got to find what v is. Uh, we know what u is. We can find what a is. And we've got to find a expression for v in terms of t. So it looks like v equals u plus a t is what we'll need. So we can say v is equal to u, which is 1 minus 5 plus a t. Okay, so the key now is to find what a is. Acceleration. Okay, now... I know that the acceleration is going to be the magnitude of the acceleration, which is 3 root 5, times the unit vector in this direction. Now, the unit vector in this direction, okay, so we know that the vector, the acceleration will have this direction, okay, but it's going to be of magnitude 3 root 5. So if I find the, the magnitude of the direction vector, so I'll put, I'll put it like this, direction vector, the magnitude of that is going to be, 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is going to be the square root of 5. If I divide this vector, okay, which is basically 2, 1, if I divide this vector by root 5, then I will get a vector of 1 unit in that direction. So if I do 1 over root 5 of the vector 2, 1, this vector here is in our required direction, but it has a magnitude of 1 unit. Multiply that by 3 root 5, I'll have a vector in the required direction with the required magnitude. So they cancel out, and you're left with the vector 6, 3. So this vector here is in the same direction as 2, 1, as we can see. It's a multiple of 2, 1, and its magnitude is 3 root 5. If you find the magnitude of this, just to check, it would be 36 plus 9, which is the square root of 45, which is going to be root 9 times root 5 which is 3 root 5. So we can see that this vector has the required magnitude and it is in the same direction as the, the, the direction required. Okay? It's in the direction 2, 1. Okay? So there we have the acceleration vector. So we can say that V is equal to U, which is 1 minus 5, plus A times T. So it's T times 6, 3, which you can write... In, in this form, this is 1 plus 6t, 1 plus 6t, and this is minus 5 plus 3t, which we can actually write in the form required. This is the i component, so we can write that as 6t plus 1i, uh, plus, and the j component is 3t minus 5j, which is, I think, what was required 6t plus 1i plus 3t minus 5j good okay then it says using your answer to part a so we basically got our velocity our velocity vector is 6t plus 1 and 3t minus 5 using your part of answer to part a or otherwise find the value of t for which the speed of the particle is at its minimum now the speed the speed is equal to the magnitude of the velocity, which is going to be the square root of 
6t plus 1 squared plus 3t minus 5 squared. Okay, so the magnitude of the velocity, which is the speed, is going to be given by the square root of, that's 36t squared plus 12t plus 1 plus, and you're going to have 3t, that's 9t squared minus, you're going to have, that's 15 minus 30t. Okay, that's 3 times 5 is 15, minus 15 times 30t, plus 25. Okay, if you simplify that, that will be the square root of 36t squared plus 9t squared is 45t squared. 12t minus 30t is minus 18t. Okay, that's right, 12t minus 30t is minus 18t, and 1 plus 25 is 26. Okay, so there we have um, our magnitude of the velocity, which is the speed. Okay, that, that's going to give you the speed. Okay, so that's the speed. Now, we want to find the minimum speed. So, if we think about this, the minimum for this, we could find by differentiating. Okay, but to differentiate something like this, it will be like 45t squared minus 18t plus 26 to the power of a half. It requires some maths which is um, not in the scope of P1 and P2, okay, um, which is called the chain rule. And uh, it's also more complicated uh, than if you did it in another way. So the value of t for which the speed is a minimum will be the same value of t for which the square of the speed is a minimum. Okay, so for example, supposing, supposing three, meet, 3 meters per second was the, was the minimum speed. The value of t that gives you that will be the same value of t that gives you the square of the speed being 9. Okay, so if we find, if we write this as, let's, let's call this, uh, let, let x equal the speed. Okay, so this is x equals the square root of 45 t squared minus 18 t plus 26. So if I square both sides, I'll have x squared equals 45 t squared minus 18t plus 26 and if I, if I differentiate this with respect to x to find the minimum I could also do it by completing the square but let's just do it this way dx squared over dt that's differentiating t with uh, x with respect to t that will give you 90t minus 18 now we know that um, at the minimum the minimum dx squared over dt is equal to 0. So we can say 90t minus 18 is equal to 0. So t is equal to 18 over 90, which is equal to 1 over 5. So when t is equal to 1 over 5, is it seconds? Meters per second? Yes. 1 over 5 seconds. Okay, that's when it says find the time. Find the value of t for which the speed is perfect. Okay, so the speed is a minimum when t is equal to one fifth of a second. Okay, all right. So if the if the speed is a minimum when t if the square of the speed is a minimum when t is one fifth second, then the speed will also be a minimum when t equals one fifth seconds. Okay, well, that makes sense. Okay, so it's just easier to differentiate this than it is to differentiate that, that's all. Okay, so the same value of t which will give you a minimum for this will be the same value of t which gives you the minimum for that, because this is just a square of that. Okay, so that's the answer for question number um, seven of Solomon F and question number eight from my end of topic worksheet. Thank you for watching.